In the field of practical surgery, the suturing technique is the most basic skill. So the goals of suturing we all know is the wound edge apposition, provide adequate tension, maintain hemostasis, aid in wound healing, avoid wound infection and produce aesthetically pleasing scar by approximating the skin edges. So it is wound edge apposition, uh, the wound edge apposition, adequate tension of the wound, maintain hemostasis to prevent bleeding, aid in wound healing, avoid wound infection and also produce an aesthetically pleasing scar by approximating the skin edges. Okay, so these are the goals of suturing. And the basic instruments you need for suturing, one as a needle holder. So when holding the instrument, use a three point control. That is three point of contact. One is a thumb and the next one is a, a ring finger and also the middle finger as a uh, stabilizer. Okay. And always use the tip of fingers and use the index finger along the length of the needle holder to provide stability and control. This is how you have to, not only the needle holder, when you hold a uh, scissors also, use the same technique. Okay, don't use like this, only insert the tip of fingers, okay, only insert the tip of fingers right and for holding the needle holder it is like this for opening and for closure use the tip of fingers and the index finger is extended along the instrument to provide extra control and stability and place only the fingertips through the handle loops that is for and the rotation should come from the wrist joint okay the rotation should come from the wrist joint and for greater control and to pick up and put down. For pick up and put down at the instrument also, these fingertips will help. Okay. Uh, suturing board, we need a suture material. And this is 4-0 proline. And this is a commonly used suture material that is polypropylene proline. Okay. It is synthetic, non-absorbable, monofilament suture material. It is actually it is a polymer of propylene and this is used in all general surgery, plastic surgery, cardiovascular surgery and also for skin closures this material proline is used. Advantage is that it won't lose the tensile strength over time. It has got good knot security, very little tissue reaction and high plasticity. But the disadvantage is that it will uh, stretch when pulled and uh, it loses when edema subsides. For a needle, we have three parts. One is a tip or the point and then the body of the shaft and eye or the suede end. Okay, so a tip, uh, body of the shaft and the eye. For holding, the needle must be held in the needle holder at approximately Three-fourth of the length of the needle from its point. From the point or the tip, you should hold at three-fourth the length. Okay. So, from the eye or the other end, it should be one-third. So, three-fourth of the length of the needle from the tip. Do not hold the swagging zone to avoid damage to suture of the uh, suture or the needle. Okay. Don't hold like this. Don't hold like this. Always hold it. 3 fourth from the tip of the needle, right? The thread might be stretched gently after it has been removed from the primary packet and always hold it like this and stretch it, right? And don't do like this. If you do, do like this, this thread will break from the needle. It will become useless. So hold it like this and then stretch it, right? There are some basic principles of suturing. I will tell you that. Okay. One is the needle should be, as I already told, the number one, that is the needle should be grasped approximately three-fourth or two-third. If it is three, that is two-third from the point and one-third from the eye. Okay. It should be like this. 
and second the needle should be always the needle should pierce the tissue perpendicular to its surface like this okay always it should be like this it should go perpendicular to the surface not like this it should be always perpendicular to its surface the needle should be pierce the tissue should pierce the tissue perpendicular to its uh, surface and the needle should be placed equidistant from the incision line on one side it should here and other side very close wrong method this should be equidistant from the incision line on both sides that's the principle number 3 so one the uh, holding the needle then piercing the uh, surface perpendicular to the surface and it should be placed equidistant from the incision line ideally it should be 2 to 3 mm from the incision line for principle number 4 the depth of penetration should be equal on both side of the incision line if you uh, pierce it on this side and this side the depth of penetration should be equal that is in principle number 4 right and the needle always passes from a movable tissue to a fixed tissue okay if it is movable and if this part is fixed always go from movable to the fixed tissue then thinner to thicker tissue okay and deeper tissue to superficial tissue so the principle number 5 the needle always passes from a movable tissue to a fixed tissue then a thinner tissue to a thicker tissue and then a deeper tissue to a superficial tissue okay the most important principle is that the tissue never be closed under tension so there are basically there is may 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 be more principles that but the basic needed principles are i five principles are there one is for holding the uh needle with the needle holder that is from 2/3 from the uh, point and the needle should be pierce the tissue perpendicular to its surface then it should be placed equidistant on both side from the incision line on both sides and then the depth of penetration should be equal on both side of the incision line and the needle always passes from a movable to a fixed tissue a thinner to a thick thicker tissue and deeper tissue to superficial tissue and the tissue never be closed under tension these are the basic principles always uh, use the thinnest suture material possible that is to minimize the risk of track marks and foreign body reaction okay the thinnest suture material possible and the most commonly used suturing technique used for approximation of the epidermis of a wound for ep epidermal approximation under moderate tension such as laceration and for punch biopsy that is the interrupted suturing technique interrupted sutures okay forceps you can there are two type toothed and non toothed uh, for interrupted sutures it is better to use the toothed one and hold it like a pen on the non dominant hand okay and this interrupted sutures are easy to place and they have got a greater tensile strength and less potential for causing wound edema and impaired cutaneous circulation so take the needle with a needle holder catch hold at the two third the distance from the tip of the needle lock it and then catch the wound edge with your tooth forceps pass a needle tip through the skin at 90 degree and use a curve of needle by turning the needle through the tissue and once comes out hold it again with your forceps don't pull it like this because there is chance of injuring the uh, tip of your fingers so always hold it with the uh, forceps then take the other end and take it out okay right now pull it off so that you have got a shorter end and a longer end of the uh, thread okay should be uh, as far as possible keep it the shortest possible uh, length 
because otherwise there will be wastage of the suture material right so hold this end yeah you have got a shorter end and a longer end now you it is better to do two turns and do like this and the pull should be it is better to pull it parallel to the line of wood okay so better approximation and closure right after this you do it like this on this this side and then pull it like this so, so this is the second one and if you want you can take a third one also right okay this is interrupted suturing and cut it right so I will repeat once again and this actually should come from the wrist joint the supination and pronation this is the basic movement that should come from the wrist joint okay compared with the uh, running sutures these are e uh, interrupted sutures are very easy to place have got a greater tensile strength and less potential for causing wound edema and impaired cutaneous circulation and also this will allow the surgeon to make adjustments as needed to properly align the wound edges. Okay, either you can start from the middle and go to the end or you can do like this. For uh, beginners, it is better to start from the middle and go to either side so that you can adjust the uh, wound edges. Okay, hold the wound edge with your forceps introduce at 90 degree then follow the curve of the needle uh, take it out with your forceps again catch hold of it then repeat it on the opposite side pull it parallel to the suture line this way and again if you want you can do an another ok and then after that cut it with your force, uh, scissors And disadvantage of this interrupted suture is that the length of time required for the placement and there is greater risk of cross hatch marks. When you take this cross hatching marks will be there and interrupted uh, sutures will take a longer time. And the risk of cross hatching can be minimized by removing the sutures early to prevent the development of suture tracks.